Nossa, tá aqui. What's going on, guys? Windy City Bass here today. Pretty, pretty happy to be out of the office. It's a long day, answering a lot of tax questions, and I just can't wait to get out on the water. We've got some 50, 55 degree temperatures right now. It's a little cool. It's got some winds heading in the direction I don't want, but if you can tell, we're gonna be doing some nighttime fishing. Hopefully we can get on a few. I've got a couple things tied on. I got a shatter bait, which we might use. And I've got a little shaky head worm that I got from Mr. Tackle Box. If uh, that doesn't work, we're gonna switch up to a jig, which should, should catch us some fish. Follow me along, let's see what we can get. Cause that sun is setting. Well guys, it looks like someone might have just been in my spot. That just sucks. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Well, I might have to switch up to the jig. That's the bait I've got confidence in. Man, I cannot believe I haven't caught anything yet. All right, let's switch up to the jig. Gotta have confidence in what you're throwing. One, let's get a light on my head so I can see. Let's chop that off. Well, there she is. There's the PM jig. Man, I've been fishing this like crazy and look at the paint. Paint's still in good shape, still got color. Tie a, a trusty polymer knot here. Through, around. Tie a knot, get your loop, and with braid, I don't ever really spit on it. You don't need to do that. All right, we're all set. Now let's not fall. Oh, I think I might have had one there. Okay, I'm calling it guys, right here. Bite, I'm calling it. Oh, I think I just ripped it out of his mouth. I was right. That cast had a bite, just not one that I could catch. Shoot. Oh man, that's the second bite I had that I missed. That was a fairly solid bite. There's a fish out there. We gotta catch him. I got one. Doesn't feel very big though. He was way out there. I was hopping that jig like crazy. No, he's not very big. Well, he's not bad. Man, he did not fight one bit. There we go. There's that PM jig right in the mouth. Nice fish. It's actually bigger than I thought, but he did not fight one bit. It's a solid, uh, well, pound and a half or so. Again, nice solid fish there. And uh, let's get let's get him unstuck. That was pretty easy. And uh, that one I was doing a little bit different. I was slow dragging it before. And then I started hopping it. He had big old hops, and he was on it within seconds. So we're gonna, we're gonna switch up tactics. We're gonna take a little bit more uh, aggressive strategy with it, doing some, some bigger hops, maybe get those rattles really going. And uh, see if we can't get another one here. Oh, 
there's another bite. And I got another one. Back to back cast. Back to back on the hop. Back to back. There we go. So a bunch of casts and it ends up being just a change up the strategy here. This one's got a little bit more heft to him. He's much fatter. She's much fatter. Look at that belly. Holy moly. Nice fish. Beautiful. Gosh, get that jig. Look at that right, right in the mouth there. And uh, been caught before. Been caught before, but man, fat fish. This is this is easily over two. This could be too close to two and a half, just because of how fat she is. But gorgeous fish. Again, just hopping that jig. This is uh, that's uh, two casts in a row. Whew. she angry. Well, guys silence for a while and then two casts in a row because I changed up tactics that's so key here you got to figure out what they want now it looks like these fish want something a little bit more making a little bit more ruckus down there so what I'm doing is I'm giving a couple quick pops a couple jerks of the rod tip just letting it fall back down a couple more jerks there's another bite right there Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Oh, man. I missed him. That could have been three for three. Let's see if you guys can see what I'm doing here. So, let's bounce, bounce, bounce. Pop, pop, pop. Well, nothing on that cast. Could be because I have this giant light on. A giant beacon saying, hey, there's someone on the shore. You guys can't see it, but a big old heron just flew over my head. Yeah, let's throw the let's throw the chatterbait for a minute. Why not? Yep, I have a branch. That's not a fish. Darn. Okay. Well, I'm done with the chatterbait. Okay, we're going to give it maybe 10 more casts and then we're going to go. I have really got to edit. Like, badly. I should be editing right now, but I just needed to fish. Oh, there's a bite right there. Oh my god, that's so weird. He just, he hit it and then let go. Oh, great horned owl, I hear him. That's always cool. All right, I think we're gonna give it two more casts. Got him. Got him. Finally. This feels like a pretty good one. He's actually fighting. Oh yeah, this is this is a better fish. Well no, maybe not. He's probably about the same size as the other ones. I knew he was there, man. He was just being a poo head. And look at that PM jig right there, right in the corner of the mouth. Pretty fish. Alright, let's let him go. Okay, well. We'll give it maybe a couple more casts. He hit it pretty light, I gotta say. A lot lighter than I expected. I had a hard time sensing he was on. Cause he was right on some branches like the i could tell the jig was let's see I, mean, I could tell the jig was hanging over a couple branches and as i was popping it up i could feel it rubbing against the branches and i couldn't tell at the first whether it was just a branch i was feeling or whether it was him but it was him there's a bite 
Oh, I missed him again. How am I missing this fish? That's unreal. I got one. Oh, he was swimming with it. Whoa, whoa, where are you going, bud? Stay out of there. Stay out of there. Ooh. Man. He was swimming with it. There we go. Yeah, I... He had it for a while. He he was holding on to it. Now they're about the same size. It's, it's pound and three quarters, two and a quarter, something in between that. And uh, putting together a nice little limit here. Whew, he was mean. Guys, this is that Dem Jigs PM jig. All I did was add this little rattles to it. Don't have a trailer on there. Man, it's just a really, really good representation of a crawfish. I mean, this this color is perfect for this lake. That was the first fish that, that picked it up and really, he didn't hit it hard at all. He just kind of grabbed on. And honestly, he went swimming with it for a little while. And I kind of just felt pressure there. Finally, said, I, there shouldn't be pressure on this right now. I'm going to set the hook. And sure enough, there he was. So let's see if we can finish out our limit here. Let's see if we can get one more. There we go. Oh, man, there. That was, that was he was flying at me. There's my limit. Another one about the same size. And look at look at how we ate that. Straight down the gullet. Man. Another one about that same size. There we go. Another really solid fish. They're loving this jig tonight. Guys, I'm putting up a photo on Instagram right now. Lady City Bassin, just like my YouTube channel. Go follow my Instagram, check it out, message me. If you want to find out what I'm throwing, what I'm using the day of rather than waiting for a video, check it out. Lady City Bassin. Further than I wanted and more to the right than I wanted. Oh shoot, I'm stuck. I'm bringing something up and it's big. I don't know what I've got, but it's got to be a branch of some sort. Hey, look at this. All right, guys, this is a win right here. You just caught a branch. So I got my jig. And then take a look at this. So I got I got another bait here. I like free baits. That's kind of concerning too, because there's blood all over the ground right here. Yet I have no idea what that would be from. Cause I don't think I'm bleeding. But got a little jerk bait here. That's kind of cool. Need to replace the hooks, but Tell you what, the blood on the ground is a little, a little unnerving. Like, can you see that? Hey, look at all that blood. What the heck is that from? Oh, oh God, that's blinding. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see me at all. But that's gonna wrap up the night. Did pretty good. Hold on, I need to make sure I don't walk into the water. Oh, and the audio is great. All right, guys. Like I said, that's going to wrap up the night. Wow, that's blinding. We uh, caught a limit of fish. I'd probably guess 10 to, 10 to 11 pounds. Nothing too big. Maybe 2.5 pounds was the biggest. But overall, pretty solid. I would have liked to catch one more fish at the end there, but I'm getting really cold, and it's getting late. So we got to get home. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. And like I said earlier, Go check out my Instagram page. It's something I haven't really talked about before, but I'm getting really into. And uh, if you like what you see, click follow. And if you haven't before or already, 
hit that subscribe button below. You can see more videos just like this. Thanks for watching. When you see the bassin, signing out. For all of you children of the 1980s, you guys might remember good old Sesame Street. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. And then they all jumped into the boat.